If you wanna learn how to produce your own music, but you don't even know where to start, then this video is going to be for you. What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm going to show you the three main phases to begin producing your own music. So stay to the end and you're gonna find out exactly what the entire process is. Let's jump right in. So the whole process, we've pretty much divided it up into three main phases. And essentially what our goal at the end of the three phases to do is to be able to fully produce at least one song, produce, write, record, mix, and master one song in 90 days and have all the skills, tools, resources, and understanding that you need to never have to buy beats, never have to go on YouTube, never have to wait on anybody to mix master, never have to go to a studio and just be able to do everything from home. So breaking everything down, we start off in phase one, which is gearing up. First thing is efficient artist mindset. Time management is obviously very crucial. How to put out a high quantity of high quality songs and then battling resistance, which resistance is anything that stops you from creating. Then we move on to the hardware. Obviously got to make sure you have a good you know, working computer with the right RAM and storage. Then your current home recording setup, which you're gonna need a mic, audio interface, headphones, and an XLR cable. You might need a mic stand as well, depending on what mic you get. Software, you gotta, have, you gotta get a digital audio workstation, whether that's Logic Pro X, like what I have, FL Studio, Ableton, it doesn't matter. And beat making software, which we use Splice and Arcade for that. I have another video on my channel that you can watch to check out those tools, go check that out. And then you're mixing and mastering software, but basically at the end of this phase, which it should take you about two to four weeks, you should have everything you need for fully producing your own music for the rest of your career. Yeah, you'll probably wanna do upgrades later, but to get you started, this is gonna take about two to four weeks, all right? So next is actually producing the instrumental, all right? Now, this is the part where a lot of people get super addicted and because it's really fun. So first, the first thing you're gonna do is how to create a melody using drag and drop, pre-made sound libraries, and some AI chord progression generation, but basically how to make melodies without needing to know music theory. After you got your melody, drums and bass, basically how to get drums and bass from big time platinum and Grammy winning producers so that you have that quality and high level professional sound, and then how to arrange the beat, basically make sections of like intro, chorus, verse, bridge if you want, and then how to pre-mix your beat so that when the beat is done, it's not just some random sounding beat from BeatStars, it's actually arranged and you're excited to write lyrics and you're excited to record the vocals. After that, so imagine this, right? You've got your gear, you've got your beats, you're probably at this point addicted to making beats. You've got a bunch of beats. You can't even decide which one to work on, but you finally decided which beat it is. So the next part is gonna be the actual vocals, right? You've got your song written and you're gonna wanna record it. So I'm gonna show you how to pre-mix your vocals, set up your recording session once, then always have your vocals sounding pro no matter what. Then after that, we go into the mixing phase. So then you, what you do is you import your pre-mix vocals into your pre-mix beat, add some final touches and your song's done, your song's mixed in about 90 minutes. Then we wanna have the song sounding great in every speaker system from the iPhone, headphones, earbuds, car speakers, live on stage. That's the mastering phase. So you're gonna import your final mix, set up your mastering preset once, and then your song is mastered in 10 to 15 minutes, right? It really is that simple. When it comes to mixing for the plugins, I use Waves. Waves Creative Access, right? You can go to waves.com slash subscriptions. For mastering, I use a tool called Isotope Ozone 10. And if you go to Splice, which is the tool that we use to get our sounds and to get our loops and stuff like that, you can also get Isotope Ozone 10 and rent to own it. You could see that right here. So. Ozone 10, you can click right there. And then I already am paying for it, but you can pay $27 a month for 25 months. And then you've got your mastering software. That's how we do everything. So if you wanna learn how to fully produce your own music, here's the steps that you need to realistically take. Now, whether you decide to sign up and enroll in the Rapid Fire Music Academy or not is really gonna be up to you. But at the end of the day, here's the steps that you need to take 
in order to become your own producer. And yes, it really is that simple. So hopefully at this point, you know what all the steps are that you need to begin producing your own music. If you wanna actually get a more applied understanding of how to do this, all you have to do is click the link in the description and go watch the main video pinned to my channel where I actually walk you through in depth, step by step, how we do everything in the Rapid Fire Music Academy, which is how I teach music artists how to produce their own songs in 90 days. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.